What's going on everyone, Bobby Barks here and welcome to the final part for our roundup of Quarter 2's Round 1. We're kicking it off with McMo 1 versus Psychedelic 2000. And as you can see, McMo gets off to a slow start, dropping two spawns behind. Right McMo getting a shot in there and doing a gesture, trying to steam in before Psychedelic. Heals himself, but the Molotov gives Psychedelic a three-spawn lead, and one of the favourites for this tournament is struggling already here. McMo is renowned within the community, has his own YouTube channel with a lot of support, finally getting his first execution here, just three minutes into the game. And as you can see, he pulled off a little bit of a comeback, as he's renowned for and brought it back to within one spawn. Trying to find the angle on Psychedelic. Psychedelic trying to heal. Nice 9mm action from McMo, and he finally pulls the scores level halfway through this game. Trying to get a headshot on Psychedelic in the 24 hour hotline and we now have McMo in the lead. Psychedelic must be frustrated that he's given a 3 spawn lead away. McMo managing to back off from the smoke bomb. As you can see from the scores, Psychedelic manages to get back into it a little bit and out comes the purchasable. And Psychedelic regains the lead with a little over 5 minutes to go. McMo falling behind, desperate to try and hold on and get something back from this game. Psychedelic not making those bullets count, but the burst rifle does. And McMo is now two spawns behind again. Three minutes left and McMo's got a spawn back. He's armoured up now, trying to find... Smoke bomb angle gets it very well, and this must be it. Yes, he is even again. McMo now at one spawn in front as we come to the closing stages of this game. He's not coming back. He wants to try and get in there on the action. If it had been me, I would have gone back, but the shotgun comes out, and Psychedelic pulls this one level. And it looks like this one is going to end in a tie. We're going to need a rematch here. So we're joining back up halfway through this second encounter. And as you can see, the scores are still level 14-14. This has been very close and Psychedelic has frustrated McMo considerably throughout this contest. I don't think anyone expected that this would still be a game. Nine miller a meter action from McMo finally gets that down and takes a lead. And it was from that point onwards that McMo didn't look back. And all the fans of his can see now that he is through to the next round, progressing to quarter two, round two, after staging a considerable effort with the variable rifle. Next up, we have Sax Payne versus It's Shivan 1099. And Sax Payne got off to a very slow start in this one, falling three spawns behind within the first five minutes. And pulls out some nice burst pistol action. You don't see many burst pistols in this 1v1 tournament, but Sax Payne still behind by one, trying to find. Away back into this game. 
melee burst combination works a treat. And with five minutes to go, Sax Payne is looking to try and take the lead in this 1v1 for the first time in the game. Things are pretty close. Molotov comes in, and there it is. Sax finally gets the lead. And went from strength to strength after that, attaining a two-spawn lead. Coming up to the last three and a half minutes, the next kill is extremely important. And Sax gets it with a Molotov despite the aim down glitch. Uh, and as you can see from the scoreline here, he pulled away a little bit. And it Shivan put up a brave fight, but Sax will progress through to round two. Third game here from this last roundup video, we're going to see Luck Luck 876 versus Prince Kasab. And Luck Luck was a tournament favourite in the last quarter with some hunting rifle skills that he's showcasing here again, taking an early lead against the Prince. Prince did manage to pull a life back fairly quickly, and Luck Luck got into a spot of bother here when Prince took the lead. And after that, Luck Luck got into all sorts of trouble. He had to switch up from his hunting rifle to the burst rifle. And as you can see, this was the closing moments where the El Diablo came out. And with three minutes to go, Luck Luck fell three spawns behind. And looked like he was going out of this tournament. For those of you paying attention, you can see now in the last minute, he is five spawns behind. And one of the favourites from last quarter, unfortunately, goes out at the early stages. Next game, we're going to show you 420 Space Kush versus 420 Space Apple. Two players who I'm sure will know one another, given their PSN names. Uh, I would suspect they're in the same clan or... FN team and Kush, despite it being 15 15 there, took a lead and went three spawns up with a little over six minutes to go. Nice headshot burst rifle action from distance, and Space Kush rallied after that, and with a minute and a half to go got all 21 executions and the bragging rights in that one. Next up, we're going to see Musty versus Chronic Bubble. Musty using some burst rifle action. A nice burst rifle through the van. Chronic Bubble was not expecting that. And Musty was quite comfortable throughout this game. He's a dark horse for me in this tournament. I think he could go a long way if he avoids some of the big hitters throughout. And there you can see him take a six spawn lead with a little over four minutes to go. And as the game closed out, he is ten spawns up. And it's nice to see some good spirits among both participants here. This is what this tournament's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing people together. Volinator is up next against Lucas Alanis, and Volinator spent a good proportion of this match trying to get the shivs, and after four, well, three and a half minutes, you can see the first execution finally came off, and it wasn't long before that that Volo got his second shiv of the game, and went two spawns up fairly quickly. Lucas pulled it back though, and with five minutes to go, it was 17-17, and some nice action through the window between the planks of wood saw Lucas take the lead for the first time in the game, and Volo struggled after that, even switching to a burst rifle to try and get back into this, but it didn't work, and... One of the tournament's favourite sons and Shiv Kings unfortunately goes out in round one. Next we're going to see Lord Sir Tony versus Abdru4995. 
Abdruf was a participant in quarter one. And Lord Sir Tony is another dark horse in this tournament. Abdruf was a good player despite not managing to win a game in quarter one. Uh, he did get brought back after his first opponent got disqualified, but he lost again in his second attempt. Uh, but I think it was just the luck of the draw, and again, he's got a good player against him here in Lord Sir Tony, who, after 10 minutes, was three spawns up. Nice headshots from Tony. Trying to get Abdruf to come out of places, and Abdruf gets the down here and gave himself a chance to get back into the game. Nice play from Lord Sir Tony, and he didn't really look back after that, taking an extensive lead that Abdruf could not regain. And as the game closed out, some nice burst rifle action by both players. Congratulations, Tony, on making it through. Next up, we have the game of the round. Body Shotter versus Grundig 1987. This was by far my favourite game in this round. Two exceptionally skilled players. Grundig gets the first kill of the game. And needless to say that whoever wins this bout between these two also gets to play Yuranto in the second round. Body Shotter cannot land those burst rifle bullets and Grundig takes a three spawn lead two and a half minutes into the game. This was both players just going at it one after another. Body Shotter is more famous for having a hunting rifle equipped, but in this 1v1, he went with a burst rifle, although exceptionally skilled with the 9mm, taking Grundig out there and pulling himself back into this game with one spawn and getting those long-range headshots with a burst rifle, bringing himself even 10 minutes to go in this game, and we are at 15-15. Grundig trying to make an approach in, but Body Shotter managed to play very, very well there, getting that down. And Grundig struggled after that, lost a lot of confidence following that down. And Body Shotter went from strength to strength. Nice play from Grundig who surprisingly didn't switch up his loadout. He kept going with the same one, and it um, nearly worked. He nearly got back into this, as you can see. Two spawns between these two with just under three minutes to go. The turning point for this one was here, when Body Shotter managed to find an angle on Grundig and get some nice headshots. And despite going three spawns behind, Grundig never really recovered from that. And as the game closed out, some nice 9mm action from Body Shotter. Sees him through to round two and up against Uranto. Next up, we have Ninja Vanish versus Gavin750. Ninja Vanish was a favourite in quarter one, but withdrew before round one even started. And here he is with some nice full auto skills against Gavin. Takes the first execution within a minute. And then as you can see, as we approach the halfway mark, he is in a six spawn lead. Gavin really, really struggled. This was as one-sided as the come for anyone that might use a full auto rifle in this tournament. Five minutes remaining and Ninja Vanish is up by eight, trying to make it nine. Gavin tries coming in with a one-hit stick but gets downed by that full auto again. Don't see many players with a full auto in these 1v1s. But if anyone can use it well, it is Ninja Vanish. 
Smoke bomb comes in, but Gavin manages to get out of the way of it. Tries coming in with a one hit stick again, but falls 11 spawns behind. And as the game closes out, you can see that Ninja made it 12 and will progress to round two. Next up, we have Last of Us Prodigy versus CDE Mr. 2210. This was a exceptional game from Last of Us Prodigy. If you thought you'd seen some good hunting rifle skills from other players within these tournaments, this one was definitely one to keep an eye on. You may recall the name of Last of Us Prodigy from the recent Nick A Top 10. He was the guy with the number one spot with some fantastic hunting rifle skills. Two shots through the van and a quick scope to his right. Saw him get three headshots in a row. It was some fantastic play by him. Definitely worthy of that number one shot. And here you'll be able to see those van shots aren't a fluke. Getting CD down with that and taking a six spawn lead halfway through this game. Is willing to be very, very patient as well as Gavin tries to wade it out behind the concrete slab. But Prodigy happy to sit there and wait and try and find those headshots. They didn't quite land what he wanted to land there. But there is some exceptional skill coming up here in a moment that you're about to see. Prodigy manages to get behind the trash can and land that headshot. Up by eight with just under five minutes to go and you'll be able to see that a flamethrower comes out. And I've not seen people use this combination of a hunting rifle flamethrower before. But I'm sure I'm going to try it myself after seeing that. Here it is again. Hunting rifle flamethrower combination, and he knows he's on camera. Some nice, quick shoulder switching here, takes the helmet off. Can't land the second shot though, which would have been quite remarkable. Runs out of his flamethrower, but gets that punch and progresses through to round two quite comfortably. Next up, we're going to see Sai the Sai against Mystic Flamenco. This was another great game between two players who went right at it. Mystic Flamenco getting the first execution of the game. Sai the Sai kept within one spawn of him right up until the halfway point. Unfortunately, making a bit of a mistake there, trying to get the smoke bomb off as Mystic Flamenco takes a two-spawn lead for the first time in the game. And unfortunately, Side the Side couldn't get back into it after that, falling four spawns behind as the game went into the closing stages. Mystic Flamenco already booking his place into round two. Mystic trying to back off while healing as Side the Side tries to press. Mystic is managing to play very defensively. Waiting for the Hawkeye to wear off and find cover. Both players struggling and running out of burst rifle bullets before Mystic chooses the 9mm and Sai unfortunately chooses the melee option going out in round one. So to finish off this roundup videos, I've got to give a bit of a shout out to my daughter Katie Barks. You guys said that she should be in the tournament. And here she is against Charlie, playing with the bow. She took an early lead in this game. Nice headshot from Katie there. And with five minutes gone, she was five spawns up before the Molotov bout between the two ended in defeat for Katie. Uh, but she got a nice headshot as Charlie jumped out of the 24 hour hotline and regained that five spawn lead. Finding another headshot with the bow there. Uh, and as we approach the halfway point of this game, she has a nice, comfortable seven spawn lead. 
um, before we see something quite tragic from Charlie as a smoke bomb comes down with Bomb Expert on and he gets the shiv. Uh, interesting weapons of choice that she does go with. Uh, I've not seen many people use a bow burst pistol combination, but she does like the burst pistol. Um, and she gets a nice combination down there on Charlie. Taking the armor off with the bow. Um, and here she tries taking the armor off, but unfortunately hit his legs. Couldn't remove the armor. Uh, but a nice headshot here. Takes off the helmet and gives her a nice eight spawn cushion as we go into the last minute um, before Charlie comes back in with those smoke bombs and shivs with bomb expert. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. You have seen all the roundup videos for quarter two, round one. I'm not gonna be showing any more footage from the games that have been submitted to me. We are at the end of round one. The bracket cloud will be updated so that you can see who else won, who else has progressed, and who is going to face who in round two. Uh, just a honorable mention, those of you that watched quarter one will remember that Daniel 12 finished in third place and took the tournament by storm really uh, and wanting Daniel to go on and win that quarter. Uh, but unfortunately in quarter two he has gone out in round one to Crazy Calcium. Um, it wasn't a game worth showing but I do think it's worth me sharing with you here without you seeing it on the bracket cloud and wondering what happened. Um, so that is it. Go check out that bracket cloud, see who's playing who in round two. There is still the odd game that hasn't been played in round one as we're waiting to try and get in touch with people that are answering PSM messages. Um, we will give them a few more days. So if you see that you haven't got an opponent in round two yet, then please just be patient. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in round two. Bye for now. Oh,